Jeopardy just being here. I'm disappointed. Why? Because you're not the bad man. <laughs> no. No, I'm not. But if you cooperate, this will be over soon. Oh, goody! So I get a gold star. I'm sure this will do. Is something wrong? No. Are you afraid of me? Well, you... We do have a history. Don't we all? <laughs> Tell me, Doctor. What do you want to know about little old me? Well, let's start with your early history. I don't remember much from my past lives. And uh, then she said it's a wrench. What you do remember. Now let's start with the Batman. It was like a 1920s, and I was out making a name for myself. And what better name than the Red Hood?
never disappointed me once. Never turned down an invitation. Always punctual. Always. You and Batman, you were two sides of the same coin then. Batman and I are very similar. Even Two-Face agrees with me. Harvey doesn't. He's doing that job. You know, Batman and I really are enemies. We're the best of friends. We're twins. The only thing is, he's blessed a good son, and I'm not. I'm sent away to dungeons to wear the Iron Mask. Well, he gets away with everything. But you know, it's a shame. Most people will never understand what Batman and I really have. I'm there face to face with him. I am one else. He's on the outside, looking in. It's apparent that Batman, then, is your reason to exist. Are you Batman's reason? I like to think so. In some... other place and time, I represent his nightmare. That haunts him. Night after night. Why are you so calm right now? In public, you're... Well, you're something of a loose cannon. Because... I'm not on stage. Pardon? It's all an act out there. I put on... purple suits. I slip my hair back. Put on a little makeup. Like any other actor. And I perform. That's out there. And here... In our government. I'm behind the curtain. And I don't like to draw attention to the man behind the curtain. An interesting theory. Batman's a performer too, you know. Mostly dramatic. Can't you call me for the life of him? <laughs> he and I, we, create a balance. I'm here behind the curtain, and I'm sure wherever Batsy is right now, he's sitting alone, out of costume, in his own straitjacket. It's a joke, Doctor! I'm here to provide the punchline. And the punchline is death. Not always. Sometimes, there's a better laugh to be found. Choose a row. What? Choose a row! You like that row, do you? What about the Batman's Alex? What about Robin? Oh, a horrible understudy. Expendable one. I must have killed several to keep Batsy honest. There's more than one? Oh, yeah. They multiply like rabbits. Don't get me wrong, Doctor. 
I have nothing against kids. But kids in tights? Hmm. Why do you hate him so much? Because he is the usurper of what's rightfully mine. That's just a loner. But he's a brightly colored sidekick. It doesn't make much sense. It takes all the fun out of our encounters. So I try to get rid of him from time to time. They get killed, they change their names, they grow up, they leave the nest. Sometimes it's a girl, sometimes it's a robot. <laughs> sometimes you actually works with the brat. A lot of times, he works alone. Trouble in bed, I suppose. You resent Robin's presence in that man's life? Who wouldn't? He takes up all the face time. And you feel the need to kill them all? Think of it as a ripple in the water. I drop a large object, in this case, the death of Robin, <laughs> into Batman's pond. It causes such a great splash that I get the performance of a lifetime out of him. But it's not just Robin. In fact, you seem to resent anyone's presence in Batman's life. For instance, Commissioner James Gordon. Oh, Gordon. He is an extension of Batman. But it affects Gordon. It affects Batman. You crippled his daughter. Oh, that. Carpet. Ruined. There was so much blood. Then there was blood from the bullet wound. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, uh, no, nothing. Let's move on. You also killed Gordon's wife. The best Christmas gift I've ever gave. I received. <laughs> but Gordon, like the bats, has no sense of humor. I kept throwing in the punchline, but he'd never get it. Now they'll never do. Mm. I get it. Do you? I suppose Robin was the lucky one. He was embraced. Killing him made him part of your legacy. I like the girl was left alive. Used. Like someone wanted circus freak. You're catching on. Choose a card. Hmm. 
you don't like this one. Choose another. Ooh, you like this one. Then there's no need for this one. It's getting dramatic in here. It's like a soap opera. Is something on your mind, Doctor? Your victims, or as you say, performers. Some of them become part of your legacy, while others become forgotten. Do you choose who becomes part of your personal heaven and hell? Contrary to your belief, Doctor, I haven't given it much thought. Don't get me wrong. I do love a good supporting cast. But all my performance, all my art, is to prove one point. And what is that? To laugh at your own death. To not take life so seriously. It's a show about the inevitable. Then is it inevitable that you and Batman will kill each other? I like that. It's poetic. Even Robin like a barber fights me. You're right, John. This is the end. You could have prevented this, you know. You could have let this end years ago. But you let it go on and on and on. Why, Batsy? Why? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy our time together? You must have! Because you sacrificed so many that you just fall! You would have killed me years ago! But no! You have killed Sarah, Barbara, and Robin!
he wouldn't be able to do it. And I don't think I would be able to do it either. <laughs> what would be the point? Without him, life would be so boring. What would I do for fun? That's neither here nor there. High, medium, or low. Low. Two, three, or four. Three. Don't you mean four? Yeah, yeah, four. Eight. Two. <laughs> Why are you really here? just 13 years old. You killed my parents. I thought I recognized you. No wonder the state labeled you insane. I thought the courts would bring you to justice, but they failed. I thought almighty Batman would, but he failed. So, I wanted to kill you for myself. No, I get that a lot. I became a psychologist so I could study you. I learned everything about you. I know your history. I know your habits. I know your needs. And I know your greatest fear. And what's that? Being forgotten. staged. So let me ask you, Joker. Are you afraid? Pick a suit. brought us here today? No. Diamonds. Is it my money that bought my way in here? No. Hearts. Is it compassion that led us here today? No. But the two spades. 